All right, so video 146. Uh, maybe by the time this video goes up, it should be up, hopefully. Um, it's just uploading late. Every now and then this happens where like, you know, every couple of videos, there will be like maybe one or two videos that'll just like take, you know, two days, two whole days to upload. Um, I'm not sure why that happens, but maybe it's cause I upload every day. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's just about it. Like, you know, I hope, I don't know, people don't take it as me missing a day. I do truly work out every single day. I'm being honest with that. Um, it's just that sometimes like things don't go my way when it comes to just video uploading. So sometimes some videos just take forever to upload while, while some take like less than an hour. Um, strangely enough, longer videos take less time sometimes. Uh, but yeah, but that's kind of besides the point. I do want to talk about honesty, which I mentioned. Um, so when it came to starting Ramadan, I kind of also wanted to challenge myself with um, a lot of things. Uh, so like a whole list of stuff. Like, you know, no video games, movies, no podcasts, no music, um, you know, just no social media, YouTube, whatever the case may be. Um, and I only go to these things unless I'm trying to specifically learn something. And me being honest here, right, and also me in the same vein, um, taking accountability, I would say that I wouldn't be completely honest to say that, oh yeah, I've been following all those parameters that I've set myself um, to a T ever since Ramadan started. That's not the case here, especially since I'm currently on break from school. So um, with me being from break, there's not a lot for me to do. Um, so it just kind of like gives me a lot of free time. And instead of me reading a book or possibly just going over some like other important stuff or something more productive, I will sit and I will watch TV or I will watch a movie or I will play some games, right? Um, and interesting, interestingly enough, it's like I didn't have any time to do any of these things like whatsoever almost when I um, was doing during school. Uh, since I'm now on break, you know, I'm just kind of like, oh man, I'm bored. I'm so bored. But I shouldn't be going back to those things already like I should be having the or trying to develop the discipline to stay away from those things because if I said something then I should do it you know if I said and especially if I said it to an audience or to people that can hear it um I know I don't have like a huge audience or anything but you know I, people heard the, these things and heard me say these things and it would be crazy for me to go back on my word and to basically not say anything about it so I should mention that, like, yes, I have played um, Zelda. I have watched um, a couple movies and some TV. Um, you know, I have listened to music as well. And I have watched YouTube when I wasn't learning it, you know, when I wasn't intentionally going on YouTube to learn something. So I just have to kind of, again, hold myself accountable, um, you know, but my by me saying this out loud and by me, telling an audience of people or letting this information out to an audience of people, I feel like it's going to allow me to hold myself a lot more accountable. Um, just so it's like, you know, I can't be telling people, hey, you try this, you do this, and I'm not even doing it right. Um, you you lead by example. You don't just lead by telling people at all, at all, like whatsoever. People will not follow anything you do unless they see you putting in that same exact work. And I want to be able to have that type of example um, to be that type of example, um, because it's just like overall, I feel like the message that I'm trying to put out here just with this channel is like positivity, um, discipline, hard work, um, just improving yourself, things like that in general. Um, and I can't say I can't say that I'm sp completely spreading those things if I'm telling you that, oh, during Ramadan, I'm not going to do these things and then I end up doing these things. So I just, you know, again, just want to come out hold accountability, be honest. And yeah, and you know, being just being honest, telling the truth, it clears your conscious. Um, it, clear, it clears my conscious, especially no matter what it might have been that like, let's say I would have been um, untruthful about. Um, because it's just a lot more simpler that way than having to lie and then make up more lies to more lies to cover up that lie and then to lie even more and then 
guess what? You tell one lie and now you end up telling 50 lies or something like that. So it's just, it's just not something that's easy to do. Um, I'm not going to say that like I'm a horrible liar. I've lied before and I've gotten away with it. But it's like, do those lies, like, are those, were those righteous of me? Was that virtuous of me to lie in those situations? No, it wasn't. Um, was it for me to lie in those situations? Would it have been something like, of course, I wouldn't have gotten in trouble if I told the truth. But lying didn't get me in trouble and I got away with it. But that's the thing. It's like, what goes around comes around, you know, um, just because you lie to people and get away with it. Don't think other people, you know, don't lie to you and get away with it. You're probably being lied to all the time if you're also a huge liar yourself because you kind of attract um, things that are similar to you, whether you realize it or not. And if you're a liar, you know, you're a big fat liar, uh, lie, liar, pants on fire, you're going to attract a bunch of other people who have their pants on fire and are also just happen to be big liars. So you just, again, just, you just have to try and be more honest about things instead of just lying or um, beating around the bush or um, withholding certain parts of the truth. That's also a form of lying. And when it comes to lying, it's like it's so engraved in us. It's almost like a habitual behavior um, to kind of lie or just say these little teeny tiny white lies in order to um, just get out of certain situations or to avoid some things or to just kind of like, you know, uh, let people off or whatever, you know, uh, just like, oh, um, I don't know, tell him some, so telling somebody that wants to stop you uh, while you're at the store, tell them, oh, I'm busy, sorry, I can't, when like, you know, you're going to go home and you're not going to do anything for the rest of the day. That is a form of lying. Now, something like that, that's not going to weigh heavy on anybody's conscience, to be honest, because we what we would all perceive someone trying to basically bother us in the store as an inconvenience, and we want to do whatever we can to keep that inconvenience out. But just imagine how it would be if you said, sorry, I'm not interested in talking to you right now. Now, would that be rude? Yes. And that's the thing. That's the harsh thing about, well, the truth, right? Or about honesty. It's like when you tell the truth, when you tell it bluntly or, we, or when you tell it without trying to sugarcoat it, people don't like that. People don't like when you say what you actually mean to say. Um, people would rather, well, people would rather have you lie to them, literally. People would rather have you lie to them um, instead of actually telling the truth, whether they realize it or not, because the truth hurts. The truth is something that a lot of people cannot bear. Um, you know, things like, of course, ego and pride, that will get in the way and that will cause people to basically um, not accept the truth and want to cling on to whatever lies they told themselves or whatever lies they were told that kind of um, supported whatever it is they believed in. And that's like a vicious cycle because now you're just borderline delusional. You're you're approaching to the point of delusion. Um, and without you accepting the truth, then how do you even stay true to yourself, right? How do you even know you're tr telling, telling your own self the truth? Are you being honest with yourself, right? And that this is just things in general, right? Think about every time, you know, you tell yourself you're going to be healthy, you're going to start eating healthy now, you're going to work out now, and then you skip a workout or you, I don't know, eat some junk food or something like that. Like, be honest with yourself. Like, are you going back on your word? Are you actually dedicated to what it is that you were going to say? Do you, do you hold your your own words and your own actions to yourself to be your truth and to be something that you will be willing to stick to? And that's something that I have to ask myself, too, in this situation um, when it comes to, you know, me challenging, my, challenging myself during Ramadan. Am I, am I really respecting my own self when I go back on my word? Right. And I don't believe that's a form of respect. I think that's a form of disrespect when someone that you hold in a respectful manner or even yourself tells you, you know, to do something, something that is honorable, something that is virtuous. And you go back on that. Is that a form of respect? Right. And then you have to kind of go within yourself and you kind of have to reflect and be like, is that an honest thing for me to do? Is it honest for me to lie to myself literally? about my bad behaviors, right? Or to excuse myself of these bad behaviors. 
and it's not you know that's not a that's not you know a good thing to do that's not an honest thing to do so honesty is is just very important at least with ourselves because we can't if there if there's someone we sh should not be lying to it's ourselves of course our loved ones but top priority ourselves right we should not be lying to ourselves because when we keep lying to ourselves we keep disrespecting ourselves our standards of living go lower and lower and lower and until we, you know our, our even our own reputation our own self respect um how we see ourselves it just becomes lower and lower and lower we can keep lying to ourselves and then boom now we're like at the bottom of a pit and there's no way to get out because you just stacked more and more and more crap on top of just lies and lies to yourself it's like um someone who's fat saying like i'm perfect just the way i am i don't need to change um that's like a lie that's like most people who say that stuff are kind of lying to themselves or like oh i don't care about losing weight anymore you if you had the like if you had the willpower and the motivation and all the resources to do so which are very little you don't need that many resources you would lose that weight you would willingly lose that weight if there is a button that said lose 50 pounds you would press that so you know you're lying to yourself when you say oh i don't care about working out or getting fit i don't care about losing weight i don't care about you know being healthier or whatever um things like that so we all do care and we, in order to know that we care about ourselves we have to be honest we have to be honest with ourselves we have to be honest in our surroundings with people we know um and yeah but one thing i do want to mention like okay so when it comes to telling the truth to uh to to other people um since we have something called language um and the way we speak we speak in different dialects we speak in different languages um different forms of english whatever words we we that has made us put a certain power to words and words are incredibly strong um no matter if it's the truth if it's a lie words are just the can words can be that powerful right although what others say we should try our best to not be affected by it but since language is such a powerful thing the tongue is such a powerful thing we put so much emphasis on the words that come out of people other people's mouths and when the truth when the absolute truth with no covering no blanket no sexy looking dress no lipstick on it no makeup the truth can be ugly the truth can be very very mean rude um aggressive uh and a lot of people don't like that that that's a big turn off to a lot of people so when you're telling the truth and you're being blunt you're telling the blunt truth people do not like to be bashed over the head like that um a lot of people want it to be let to them softly um i'm not gonna say i'm like oh no tell me the blunt truth i would like for you to do so that way i can get everything without like you know, without me trying to decipher what you were actually trying to say, um, since it's easier that way to just to tell the blunt truth, but you kind of have to develop the skill of communication and talking when it comes to telling the truth, um, kind of like letting down people easy, letting people down easy. You don't want to just like, nah, you're horrible. Nah, that's, that's crazy. Nah, that's, that's horrible. Nah, that's ugly. You kind of just have to be like, well, I see where you're going with this, but wouldn't you think it'd be better if you da 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 something like that, right? Something where you're ex you're expressing the truth, or you're expressing how you feel, but you're not bashing someone over the head with anything that can sound like insultive or demeaning or um, just anything that'll put someone down, right? Because um, one thing about honesty and the truth is like it's it's supposed to be something positive, right? The fact that you are not willing to twist and construe your words and thoughts in order to fit with the mold of a society or to basically just lie to people. Um, telling the truth is way more positive because for one, it's simpler. For two, you have no type of bad conscience on you about if you lie to people. And it's just, again, it's just easier, simpler. It's easier to tell the truth than it is to lie because you have to cover up your tracks when you lie. And when you tell the truth, you're clean. You are clean. You are washed. And 
just, you know, because of communication, because of language, we have to learn how to properly communicate the truth without being so blunt and seeming so hateful and deceitful and whatever, because people don't like that. You probably don't like that. Um, And so, you know, just, again, tell the truth, uh, but don't be so harsh about it. And if you are, you better be, you know, you better be ready for all the backlash and whatnot. Um, But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, You know, sorry that uh, video 146 uploaded late. Hopefully I don't have many problems like that. Uh, But yeah, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys, you know, like this one.